If you're like us and you have a 12 volt fridge for your camping or overlanding setup, chances are you probably have a external battery source of some sort in order to power your fridge uh, in the times that you're not running the vehicle. And if you have one of these, you also need some way of recharging it. Uh, for us, we've just been recharging it while driving through another 12 volt accessory outlet in the vehicle. However, uh, that can only get you so far if your plans are to sit and park for a substantial amount of time, whether you're staying at a single campsite for a longer period of time, or maybe you're parked at a trailhead for a couple hours while you go for a hike. A great way to charge up your battery during those times is with a solar panel. Here in the state of Utah, we have all sorts of times of the year where there's plenty of sun, even in the winter. Uh, so a solar panel makes a lot of sense. So that's what we're adding to the Sequoia today. Thanks to our Sherpa rack, we have a little bit more real estate up on the roof. So we have room for the solar panel and our rooftop tent. And now for the specific solar setup we've gone with, uh, we've picked up a uh, 100 watt monocrystalline panel from Rich Solar. Uh, this is a pretty inexpensive panel. I think it's around $100 or less on eBay, so uh, a really good value for money, assuming that it works as it should, but based on the reviews I've seen, I think it should be a really good option. Now, usually you'll have to have a solar charge controller if you're putting your charge directly into like a 12 volt battery, like a starter battery. Uh, basically, if you're, you're gonna need some sort of computer to control that charge. Thankfully, if you've got something like a Jackery, like our Jackery 240, or pretty much any external power station like this, uh, it can handle all that internally. The only thing that you're going to need is some sort of adapter like this. So I'll put a link for this in the description. This basically takes the little power pole connection that pretty much all solar panels have, and it converts it down to the eight millimeter input. That will go directly into the Jackery. Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> um, so it's pretty straightforward. You just have to have some way of mounting your panel on the roof and some sort of way of linking your cables down into the cab of the vehicle. That's the one thing I haven't quite figured out yet, uh, but we're gonna start with getting the panel itself on the roof. All right, so the cable we've got is just another one of these little power pole. Uh, it, I think it's a 20 foot extension. And I ordered this, but then upon further investigation, I think the, the little sill, um, little door sill up here might be uh, a little too narrow for this thick cable. So I actually ordered a an eight millimeter extension. Um, so the idea is with that, maybe it'll just go from the solar panel through the adapter to an eight millimeter extension cable. And that should be a little more low profile. It's also just one cable because the power pole uh, cable here is both positive and negative separately, whereas the eight millimeter is all internal. Uh, so, uh, so that might be a little bit easier, but I'm gonna see if I can make it work with this cable simply because we're going on a trip tomorrow and it'd be nice to have this all working for at least that. Uh, so let's see if it'll fit through the door. Welcome to our basement. The reason that we are in the basement and not outside is because Lakin and I have unfortunately succumbed to the oppression that is COVID-19. Uh, we need a P.O. box so people can send us free stuff. If you have ramen noodles, send those to us. Um, however, I did want to finish up talking about our new solar panel after we got the chance to try it out. You know, I would have loved to have been outside to show it to you, but uh, probably not the best idea in our current state. So uh, we did get to try out the solar panel on our most recent trip. That trip you can actually watch in a video, uh, which will be up in this corner. Is it this corner, babe? But anyway, we got to try out the solar panel and it worked really well, just to summarize briefly. Uh, to clarify a little bit more specifically, when we plugged it in 
to the Jackery under large amounts of sun, we were getting about 60 watts inputted into the Jackery, which is actually quite a lot. I'm, I'm quite confident that's a lot more than plugging it into like a cigarette lighter outlet inside the vehicle. I'm not sure if it's quite as fast as plugging it into a household appliance outlet. However, 60 watts in is pretty fast. So that was really good. Uh, so with that, I honestly don't have any complaints with the solar panel. It was able to easily keep up with our, uh, our power needs, that being our 12 volt refrigerator. And also we charged uh, a drone battery off of the Jackery in that time. Overnight, our Jackery did drain, I'd say about 60% of its total power drained overnight, running the, the fridge and charging a drone battery. Um, but I'm more than confident that if we had continued our trip through the next couple of days, assuming that we had decent amount of sun each day, we would have been able to replenish a charge each and every day. That's good. Now with that, I do want to potentially increase our battery supply at some point, perhaps like an actual 12 volt battery, something with a larger amount of capacity at a lower price than what you pay for an actual power station. That way you're, you're really just paying for the capacity and not any of the other features that come with the power station. Although the features that come with the power station, like an inverter and stuff like that is really nice. But at this rate, I just want a big capacity for running our fridge and that way we could potentially maybe save our Jackery power just for, for charging cameras, phones, and you know various other things. Another thing I kind of want to potentially swap out is the cable that runs from the solar panel down into the cab and plugs into the Jackery. I believe I said earlier that that was a power pole connector. Uh, I don't think that's correct. I, I think that connector is called an MC4 connector. Once again, it's pretty standard fare for most solar panels. That cable did fit through the crack in the rear hatch door, so it did do what it was supposed to do. It's still a little bit cumbersome. I, I still think I might swap that around with uh, some zip ties and try to you know, make it a little more streamlined. The other thing I do have here that I'm, I'm planning on trying out is uh, this eight millimeter extension cable that I did mention uh, in the install part of this video. Uh, given that this cable is not quite as thick as that other cable is, and this should be able to go straight from the adapter on the solar panel down to the Jackery. And this is a 20 foot cable, and this was pretty inexpensive too. There'll be a link for this in the description, uh, along with all the things that we used once again. So those are Amazon affiliate links. Use them. They help us out. So uh, anyway, yeah, we're really pleased. It was a really Overall, it was a really simple sort of upgrade that we made to our overlanding vehicle, but I, I highly recommend it. For, for us, it really, the most important thing it does is it gives us a little bit more freedom and flexibility to feel like we can stop for, you know, a certain amount of time, go for a hike, you know, stop for lunch and not have to worry about our Jackery power being drained almost instantaneously. So, so that's really good. Um, it really did work out well on our hike. I think that hike was about two and a half hours and uh, given that we had plenty of sun in that time, the Jackery stayed charged the whole time, uh, given that it was also powering our fridge that whole time. So cold food and still having battery capacity for the night, that's a win. And for the price we paid for all the components to, to make it happen, I highly recommend it. So once again, if you want to do something similar, links are in the description. Hit us up if you have any questions, and we'll see you in the next one. Hey, I wonder how the uh, solar panel's doing today. Probably great. What's today's date? 14th. Of what month? Of April. Yeah, we love we love Utah. <laughs> Going inside.